There are 7,000 empty desks. The Cleveland School District says its new plan would lower that number and offer more programs if it closes buildings and consolidates students. But that means almost a dozen schools will be closed, and that's triggering some strong reactions tonight. Mark Nemec explains what it means for students and the city. Families in Cleveland's Collinwood neighborhood are about to get a lesson in population loss. The Cleveland Public School District is proposing closing this once mighty school. Why? It was built to hold 4,000 students. Current population, 305. Tough decisions uh, intended to make better opportunities for kids. School CEO Eric Gordon said under the plan, more students will be able to take music and advanced placement courses and get vocational training at East Side schools, which parents and officials have wanted for years. Collinwood students known as the Railroaders would merge into Glenville High School, home of the Tar Blooders. But rivalries still linger on and off the field, says longtime councilman Mike Polensic. They just think somehow that all these kids are just going to gyrate to Glenville. I got news for them. It's not going to happen. We all know it. Those of us who live there, you're going to see families move. You'll see kids, more kids going to charter schools. Gordon said such concerns are unfounded. As a community, we know the old rivalry of Glenville and Collinwood, but last year those kids had their prom together. Neighborhood activists are planning to speak out against the plan at upcoming public meetings. It's not just closing a school, it's break, the breaking up of a family. When you talk about these students and the relationships they have with the teacher, the principal, the, uh, the security guards, and even the community partners that come into the school. For Polensic, the closure will extinguish a legacy. You look at the Calwood Hall of Fame, it's the who's who of Cleveland. Graduates include Polensic, uh, Mayor George Voinovich, yeah, and Congresswoman Stephanie Tubbs-Jones. Um, it tells us a whole lot where, where we were at one time in this city and where we're at today. Mark Namick, 3 News.